What's up guys, my name is RWD Artix, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to drift in GTA Online without mods after patch 1.3. As of right now, this is the first tutorial that I've seen on YouTube for how to drift after the patch 1.3. The reason I'm making this tutorial is because they patched the mid-drive speed boost and our double clutch, so we can't drift our normal cars anymore, but this car you can still do it with sort of the same technique. So you want to buy the Willard Faction off of Benny's Garage's website for $36,000, but you know, don't be fooled, you have to upgrade it for $318,000, $318,250, and then you have to put all the upgrades, so no armor, whatever brakes you want, I have race brakes on just because of the traction on it is really low, like you're going to need that, in my opinion, maybe stage 3 brakes might be better, uh, I still have to test that out. The engine, you want to get a stage 4 engine or level 4 engine, whatever you want to call that. The exhaust doesn't really matter. And get Just don't get a stock one. Get, come on, buy some aftermarket parts, something cheap. I know the car is quite pricey, but you know if you want to drift, this is what you're going to have to do. Um, the hydraulics that I just showed, I don't think that matters, so don't go out and buy those just yet. Like Just test it if it works fine, then do that. Transmission, get a stage 4 transmission, put a turbo in there, get as much power as you want or can get because you're going to need it. The trunk, I don't think that matters. For wheels, I have the low rider fresh mesh wheels in chrome. In my opinion, chrome rims, you drift better in them, at least on Xbox 360, that's how it is. But make sure you do not get bulletproof tires because you're going to have to lower your car also. But on the older gen consoles, as in Xbox 360 and PS3, uh, they didn't get the updates since they aren't getting any more updates. So you can still drift on the older gen consoles. This is just for the next gen consoles, you know. You have to do this. But yeah. I'm going to play a short showcase right now so you can see a little bit more about the car. And I'll be talking over it, just talking about what happened with the patch and all that. And why we can't exactly drift anymore. But I'm going to play the showcase right now. So basically what happened with the double clutch is when they patched it, you can still do the double clutch, but what happens is when you do it at the full speed, all it does is make the noise, but you don't get any boost out of it or anything. But for some reason with this car, when you're drifting it, which you'll see when the tutorial actually like, when we get to that part later in the video, um, you have to be going like a certain speed. You can't be going too fast or else your wheels will lock up pretty much. And you know, you just won't go anywhere because basically what happens is when you double clutch at the top of like the gear like right when you're about to switch from second to third now what it does is instead of boosting you it locks your wheels up and it doesn't actually change gears so you know your wheels are just going to be spinning at a certain rate and you can't go any faster than that so really in reality it's slowing your car down and if you try it yourself you'll notice that it actually does slow your car down now drifting now is still like the way it was before except now it's at a slower pace, so like the whole technique thing is pretty much the same except for your initiation. You can't like clutch kick in or anything like that, like you have to slide into it and then get to a certain speed, then you'll be able to clutch and all that. And the grip is different, basically it's a lot of the technique is the same, but you just have to do it differently if that makes any sort of sense. But yeah, so let's get right into the tutorial now. So the first thing we have to do is stance our car. So basically just shoot the bottom half of the wheel until the car drops two times. And just do that for all four wheels. But if you shoot anywhere above the middle of the wheel, your car will blow up. And I know you don't want to pay for that. And basically what stancing our car does is it lowers the traction. So we'll be able to drift with it. And with this update, you know, there's cars like the Fudo, you can drift them without doing this. But in the new update, you can't drift them at all since you can't clutch anymore. But, so just lower your car, you're gonna need it. And once you're done lowering your car, just get in your car, and I recommend practicing at the docks with this. I have a custom track that I drifted on before, and I just, you know, started drifting it with this car just to test it, and it ended up working. So just go to your spot where you're gonna drift. So the first thing we have to do is work on the initiation. If you use the clutch kicking, it's not gonna work for this car. Basically what you're gonna have to do is hold your e-brake or tap it to get your car sliding and then once you start slowing down a bit so right about here then you're going to want to start clutching 
and yes you do clutch i know it's patched but just try it it should work if it doesn't you're going too fast remember if you go fast you're not going to be able to clutch your wheels are going to lock up and i'll show you an example right here So what happened was I clutched too early and my wheels locked up as you probably saw. And I basically just gripped up since my wheels wouldn't spin any more than that. And just straightened up. So that was an error by me. And through here, when you're going like this, you also, since you're going slow, you're able to clutch. But you can also just tap the e-brake. You don't want to tap it too much though. Or else you won't be able to, um, you know, con continue going. You're just going to completely stop. So make sure the clutch and also tap your e-brake along with that not necessarily clutch but just tap it while you're going with the gas in that will help you around the corners on the initiation of the drift you're going to want to turn into the corner hit your e-brake and then counter steer and then start clutching when your car starts to slow down and throughout the corner you're just going to keep on wanting to counter steer and then over steer basically just hitting your analog stick side to side to try to control it the controls are pretty much the same as they were before the update. The only thing is your throttle control is done differently. But basically, it's still the same, just at a slower and more touchy pace, I guess you can put it. It's hard to do long drifts unless you have speed because you won't be able to clutch through the corner. So it makes it a little more challenging, but even with this, I still find the drifting you know, pretty fun. I just want to do it with other people, just see what it's like, because before, doing this with other people was fun, and I just want to see if other people will be able to grasp this concept. It's pretty much the same as before, just you can't be going as fast, and this is pretty much the only car as of right now that we know of that can drift. So that basically concludes this tutorial on how to drift in GTA Online after patch 1.3. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you guys become better drifters in this new update since it's you know pretty weird and you know i just have to get used to it but if you guys have any questions on stuff that i may have not have covered before make sure to put them in the comments and i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as i can and if you enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe and share the video but yeah that's about it and peace